So I played with the um, RTF file you sent me from TestGen to see what I needed to do so that it would be accepted by exam view. Um, this over here is the original that you sent me and this is the one that I have kind of edited to be accepted by um, exam view, the import generator manager. So I had to take out all of this information, all these little blanks over here. Um, I had to get rid of this section at the top and I did leave multiple choice, that way exam view knew what kind of questions they, they were. Um, I also had to go in and take out all of the parentheses and the fastest way to do that is just by clicking on replace and putting that in and hitting replace all and it'll get rid of all of those for you so you don't manually have to go in and take them out. Um, the next important step was you have to put a period after every single number and every single answer choice or it can't recognize it. Um, the last step is at the end of each question writing answer just like this with the correct answer choice and I just pulled those from down here. So when you're finished and you have it all formatted, you're then at the step where you can um, import it into the exam view import wizard or manager. Once you've formatted the test, you need to save it as an RTF and close it out. And then you're going to open exam view import utility. And you'll hit next and then you will navigate to wherever you save that um, RTF file. And mine was just the test gen sample. And I'm going to hit select and next. Then you'll have some options to go in here and change how many columns there are for multiple choice. I'm just going to leave it at the default. Um, you can change the style. And it's going to tell you that you have to have those keywords at the top of each question so that it can recognize it. And then next and next. And it's going to read the file that you imported and it's going to tell you that the import is complete. So it imported 10 multiple choice questions and it's telling me it's complete. If for some reason there's an error in the file or you forgot a period, it will tell you error and then you can just go open that file back up and make those changes. So now I can open up exam view test generator and open an existing question bank and here's that existing question bank I just uploaded and then you can see it now is here in exam view. Um, if you're taking if you're taking these tests and you're exporting them and then importing them into NetSchool. I did find that you can import directly from TestGen directly into NetSchool the same way you do with ExamView test. So if you decide you want to do that instead of putting them in ExamView, um, let me know and I can give you the steps for doing that as well. Uh, this took me about five minutes to format that original document so it does take a little time but once you do it at least then it's compatible. If you have any questions just let me know.